What is up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm going to continue with the top five journey of stuff. Um, I've gotten a really, really good response to my top five uh, idea concept type thing. Uh, so I thought I'd continue. And today I got a couple questions in my uh, personal Instagram like DMs or whatever, um, just asking what I liked to use during school. So for today's video, top five pens for students. I did not actually use fountain pens when I was in school. I did not really know about fountain pens when I was in school. Um, so I unfortunately don't have firsthand experience. Um, but when I think of what I would have needed when I was in school, um, I would have wanted something relatively inexpensive uh, a workhorse type pen, something that I could probably knock around, um, you know, without kind of fear of it getting broken. Um, something that wouldn't completely crush my soul if it got stolen. Specifically, I'm thinking in my brain as like back to school, more uh, university college type, um, but these would essentially work for high school as well. Um, so the very first pen that I that kind of popped into my mind immediately when asked uh, about fountain pens for students was the Pilot Metropolitan. Uh, so this pen comes in a crazy amount of finishes, uh, so you can definitely get your own style. It is a push top snap cap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it's really easy to just get out, start taking notes. Um, it has a steel nib um, that writes very well. It's very smooth. It's nice and wet. Um, and it can take the Con 20 or Con 50 Pilot converter as well as the Pilot um, cartridges. So you definitely have a lot of choices as far as ink goes. And it is a solid metal body uh, that will not really break. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. So definitely um, my top pen. And if I were again still in school, this would probably be uh, an everyday carry for me. Um, the next pen that I thought of, uh, I don't currently have with me. So I'll uh, overlay a picture as well as link the review that I've done for it is the Keras Customs. Um, the one that I am most familiar with is the ink, but there is also the Keras Customs K, uh, which is along the same lines, but a little bit smaller. The reason why I decided to pick that one uh, is along the same lines of the Pilot. So it's basically a metal pen, so it's not gonna break. Um, you know, in Brian Goulet's video of it, he literally throws it across the parking lot and runs it over with his car, and it comes out with just a few scratches. So it's definitely going to, uh, you know, survive backpack life for sure. Um, it has a larger um, standard international converter, so you can definitely get some good ink with it. Um, and being standard international, unlike the Pilot, um, it's not proprietary, so it can take a larger amount of uh, ink choices. Um, so that's definitely nice. Um, and you can also switch nib units. So you can buy like different nib units with one body. Um, so if you, you know, depending on what you have, if you've got a math class and you need to write finer, um, then you can get like a fine nib. And then all of a sudden, if after math, you have to go to like, I don't know, an English lit class or history or something like that. Um, and you can, you know, write cursive, then you can choose like a medium nib or a broad nib or whatever. Um, and you can have a better flow experience while writing long notes. Um, so that's kind of convenient. Um, price wise is fairly decent considering the chunk of a pen you're going to get. Um, it's more expensive than the, um, the pilot, um, you're probably looking anywhere between like 80 to 150, depending on like the kinds you can get. Again, so many different kinds, different pen materials that are gonna alter that cost. Um, but uh, it's definitely going to serve your purpose. Um, the third one I got was more of a brand necessarily than a pen specific. Um, so I just put any Jinhao pen. <laughs> Um, the one I have here is the 159 uh, in shocking yellow. 
Um, this is a big pen. Uh, so for long, if you're like in English classes, history classes, philosophy classes, anything like that, where you have to write long notes, um, then definitely having a bigger pen with a bigger grip size typically will reduce uh, hand fatigue. So having a pen like this is a good idea. Um, this one, again, is a cartridge converter. So you can definitely take lots uh, of ink with you, um, especially if you have any kind of like traveling ink pot or anything like that. Um, the nibs you can switch out. So with Jin Hao's being so inexpensive, even less expensive than the Pilot Metropolitan, um, you definitely sometimes can get uh, a not so nice nib. Um, but they are number six size, which you can switch out with any Bach or Yovo nib. Um, I have a medium Goulet pens nib in here right now. Um, so that's definitely an option. Um, and that gives you loads of different choices, uh, you know, for your schooling needs. <laughs> um, and once again, most Jin Hao pens are metal. Um, so they're going to be able to take quite a beating. Um, and if they get lost or stolen or anything like that, they're pretty dang cheap as well. So... Uh, that's kind of something nice to keep in the back of your mind. Um, the Keras Customs and the Jin Hao are screw tops, so they aren't quite as easy to access as the Pilot Metropolitan. But if you're willing to step up your game a little bit uh, as far as price point goes, then you can get probably the easiest quick action for note taking. Oh yeah, the Pilot Vanishing Point. Um, so this one I specifically chose for this action here. Oftentimes with notes, you write a line and then you stop for a while. You write a line and you stop for a while. You write a line and you stop for a while. So sometimes having the screw cap can be a bit of a pain having to constantly do that. Um, everyday writing kind of thing, not going to be a big deal. But when you're sitting in a lecture hall with 200 other people trying your best to pay attention, <laughs> Having the quick action of this guy right here uh, is actually going to make a big difference, I think. Um, so this finish in particular is limited edition, but you can get loads of different finishes. Um, you know, quick action. It is a gold nib, so it's going to be very smooth. Um, you've got a bunch of different nib sizes you could choose from. Unlike the Jin Hao and the Keras Customs, it is uh, much more expensive to switch out the nib sizes you can choose from. So if you were wanting multiple nibs, this may not be the way that you want to go. Um, just because it is a gold nib, the nibs are fairly expensive on their own. Um, the pens themselves you know, are around $150-ish dollars. Some a lot more, some a little less, depending on where you're looking. If they're limited edition, what they're made out of, that kind of thing. Um, but the nib units you can buy separately um, and it does accept the Pilot Con 50 converter as well as the Pilot um, uh, cartridges uh, the same as the Pilot Metropolitan. Um, I really like the vanishing points. Some people have a love-hate thing with it just because of where the clip resides here, um, but I personally like it. If you have very small hands and you still want something with this like click action here, uh, you can also check out the Pilot Decimo, uh, exact same design, except it's just slimmer. So for that alone, this is in my top five. Um, and then if you're willing to, you know, again, step up your game price point wise, um, along the same lines with the Pilot Vanishing Point, I have the Lamy 2000. So this is a piston fill. It is the only piston fill pen that I have in the top five. The reason why I wanted at least one piston was because they do um, hold a larger amount of ink in comparison to the cartridge converter. So if you're only wanting to bring one pen and one pen only, having a piston may be a good idea. So that way you don't have to worry about running out of ink. Uh, this also is a snap cap, so very quick you know, to take notes. Um, it is a hooded nib. So with my experience, I have heard some people say otherwise, but in my experience with both my fine and my medium Lamy 2000, uh, the hooded nib means that, again, to me, 
it doesn't dry out as quickly. So in between, you know, your sentence, stop, listen, sentence, stop, listen. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to cap it every time, but if you do, this pen makes it really easy to do that. Um, it's also a lot less flashy than these. So if you want to sit in a lecture hall um, and not be noticed as much, um, then this one definitely will be your go-to. Um, with all the other pens that I've mentioned so far, you can get different finishes that aren't so flashy, but this is definitely the most understated. Uh, it feels great in my hands. Uh, it's relatively easy to clean, um, and I think it would make a really good uh, lecture hall pen. Uh, because it is a bit wider in the grip section and it's a really light material because of the macrolon. Uh, so, recap, Pilot Metropolitan, the Cares Customs, uh, any Jinhao, any really Pilot Vanishing Point, and the Lamy 2000 are my top five choices uh, for students. Again, I specifically thought more lecture hall type student, um, but I think same would be said for high school. Um, so that's, that's my thoughts. Um, I do have two honorable mentions uh, that I'd like to shout out. Uh, the first being any Edison pen. This one in particular is the uh, Collier, Collier, however you want to pronounce it. Um, the reason why I chose these is because the nib units here uh, from Edison are fantastic. You have your choice of steel or gold. Gold will be much more expensive. Um, they all write wonderfully. If you want, you can replace the nibs. They are number six size. Um, they are standard international converters. But the reason why I put it in my honorable mention is because you can eyedropper fill the body. Um, so you can fill up an entire pen worth of ink and guaranteed you're going to make it through the day. Um, you could probably like do your whole essay like length questions in an exam or something with this pen without having to worry about it. Um, the reason why it's in honorable mentions and not in my top five is because they do usually have a lot of threads that you have to, you know, take apart. Um, and while they are beautiful and amazing pens, for about the same price as these, you could jump into like a gold nib pen, like a Vanishing Point or a Lamy 2000. Um, I own many Edison pens because I love them, uh, but just thinking student brain, I thought if you're gonna if you're gonna pay the cash, you know, pay a little bit more and uh, you know get one of these guys. I think will be better for school. And the last honorable mention, I do not have, although it is on the way is if you are, you know, money is no object whatsoever, think way outside the box of every other thing I have here, um, is the Visconti Homo Sapiens. Uh, doesn't matter if it's midi, large, dark age, bronze age, steel age, doesn't matter. Um, the reason why that is there is because the nib is fantastic. Um, it is virtually indestructible um, and it is either a piston or a vacuum filler, depending on which one you want to go with. Um, the only reason why it's in my honorable mentions is because it is super duper 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 expensive. Um, so if that got lost or stolen, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would want to carry that back and forth to school with me every day just because it is so expensive. Um, but money, no object, definitely it would be perfect uh, you know, thing to take long notes with uh, because it's going to glide across the page, hold a semi-decent amount of ink, um, and again, be virtually indestructible. And they're just awesome freaking pens. <laughs> um, but guys, that is my top five opinion uh, for back to school students. Um, I'm curious if you leave in the description box below what your top five would be if you were in school now, if you are in school now, um, you know, just kind of your thoughts of what you think would be good for a student. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Every Monday and Friday, uh, new pen videos come out uh, and every two or occasionally every Tuesday, um, a Q and A type video will be posted. Uh, if you click on this little hello guy here, you can subscribe to the channel. And uh, guys, as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.